So today we're going to learn how to easily transform this 3D model file into a VFX asset. So first things first, I import the robotic spider model file, which you can find the download link in the video description. As usual, I resize the 3D model for a better view. Next is the fun part, where we'll be adding animation to the 3D model. But before doing that, I'll add the gunshot effect to the timeline. So, since we're dealing with a 3D model, I'm going to transform the effect layer to 3D. I then adjust the length of both layers to match each other. I turned off the visibility of the effect layer, and then add keyframes to the animation property from start to the finish point. Then I turn on the effect visibility and remove the black background. With the background removed, I adjust and position the effect to match the composition. Next, I add keyframes to the position and rotation to track the motion. For now I'm going to remove the bullet particles using the shape mask. Now that we've got that settled, let's add the bullet particles. I'll duplicate the effect layer and rename them to avoid confusion. So I felt it will look cool to add the bullet particles right behind the model. So I'll adjust the effect accordingly. I'm also going to mask out the unwanted area of the effect. Moving on, I add texture to the 3D model. You can also choose the texture lighting that perfectly matches the environment lighting condition. Next, I add a glow effect to the muzzle flare and then enhance the light details with a color balance that matches the flare. And to add a background, go to the fill properties, select solid color, and here you can choose a green screen or blue background for the model. And if you found this tutorial helpful, kindly hit the like button and subscribe to stay updated for more 3D modeling tutorials. Peace.